Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Let's Play with me, your host, Coffee and Coming. Coming at you with, you are Jeff Bezos. So I looked up a list of a bunch of indie games from last year, ones that got great reviews, and this was one of them. I, I don't know anything about it. Except that you're Jeff Bezos, and it's a text-based game. So this is kind of like one of those old-school ones. So you are Jeff Bezos. My current worth is $156 billion. Yeah, it sounds about right. You are Jeff Bezos. When you wake up this morning from unsettling dreams, you find yourself changed in your bed into a monstrous vermin. You are Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, employees are now your employees. His money is now your money. Nothing you say or do will convince anyone you are not Jeff Bezos, even his closest friends and family. What do you do? I, I, I go to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom. It takes you about nine minutes to do all your business. You flush the toilet because any game with a bathroom that does not allow you to flush the toilet is not a real game. Oh, man. This game is breaking. Breaking the fourth wall. All right. Uh, I I dig it. I like it. In that nine minutes, you, Jeff Bezos, make $540,000. That's more than nine times an American average annual salary and 20 times the median salary of an Amazon employee. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's kind of horrifying, isn't it? I'm going to go to the bathroom again. I feel like I didn't finish everything in there. <laughs> You may be inhabiting the body of a 54-year-old, but that doesn't mean you need to pee again that quickly. Oh, I actually didn't know that. Be Bezos is only 54. Now, regardless of your opinion on Amazon or whatever, whatever, uh, I'm not going to go into my opinion of Amazon and Jeff Bezos. Uh, we're just looking at this. I'm looking at this strictly from the perspective of however the person who made this game, the game developer, decide to go with it. And that that's where I'm going to go. So I won't get political on my YouTube channel or my Twitch. Just going to see where the ride takes me. It's apparently a horror game. So we'll see. Wait, Bezos is only 54? Yeah, I was surprised too. Guess all the Botox injections in the world can't help you. When you hit the tanning booth that much. <sighs> anyway, now that you've done your business, it's time to spend Jeff Bezos' money. Do I have to spend it? Can I, like, invest it or hoard it? Or no. You cannot invest it, keep it, or earn more of it. You can only spend it. But that's a really inefficient way to use wealth. Sure, sure. It's also true that no billionaire just sits on a giant pile of cash. Most of Bezos' wealth is abstracted into stocks, investments, and so forth. But that's not the scope of this simulation. The simulation is about spending all of Jeff Bezos' money. Well, all right. Jeff Bezos' current wealth is displayed on the left. Low are some of the things you might consider spending it on. Hey, I made another $540,000. Yeah, I'm rich. So what can we do? Well, I don't have to pay off my student loan debt. That's worth $1.5 trillion. We're not going to pay off student... Oh, student loan debt in peri period. <laughs> okay, so we can repair Puerto Rico. We can pay for the border wall and then not build it. We can pay personal taxes. Hire 100,000 new teachers for four years each and end homelessness in the United States. What do you guys think I should do? Save Puerto Rico. Okay, we're going to repair Puerto Rico. That was the first one I saw. You repair every ounce of damage Hurricane Maria has done to Puerto Rico. It will still take some time to enact repairs and nothing can be done to bring back the thousands of lives lost due to federal negligence. But the oh my gosh, this game is just tearing people a new one. But the island is at least on its way to recovery. At $139 billion, this action represents roughly the limit of your personal wealth. 
So good thinking getting this one out of the way first. There's still some smaller things you can take care of though. Great, let's see them. You get a phone call from your personal line from your main financial advisor, apparently distressed. You ignore it. Yeah, okay, what else? Good job dis disseminating a rich man's wealth so far, by the way. You've gone from 156 a billion or yeah, billion dollars to a mere 17 billion dollars, 540,000 dollars in a few clicks of a button. If only you could manufacture guillotines this easily. Okay. So we can double every Amazon employee's salary. We can support 10,000 artists and residents for four years each. We can abolish the electoral college or we can pay back taxes to the EU. What do you guys think? Abolish the electoral college. I'm doing it. Strictly speaking, the only thing necessary to abolish the United States Electoral College is the vote and the ratification of three-fourths of the Union or 38 states. And politicians are very cheap to purchase. An average Senate seat costs $10 million, but you can win over sitting senators for less than that. The House is a trickier proposition thanks to sheer numbers, but all you really need to do to make the whole thing work is convince Republicans that abolishing a slavery era system and transitioning to a popular vote for major elections would totally own the libs. Sorry, not sorry, Hamilton. <laughs> okay. Fox News goes unexpectedly off air, citing existential difficulties. Time names you its person of the year. You decline the fair weather BS. Okay. Double the salaries. All right, I'm all about that. I'm gonna double some salaries here. You double the median Amazon worker's salary from poverty level $28,000 a year to $56,000 a year, much closer to the US average. Your employees are able to lead lives with slightly more dignity. While you're at it, you implement progressive policies, getting rid of timed bathroom breaks and those hilariously anti-union videos you've been forcing your employees to watch. The cost of this to you is so negligible, I'm not even going to model it. Cool. What's next? All right, so we can eat. The squatter in the White House goes on an unhinged Twitter rant, branding you a communist Democrat fascist with a small genitals who is running the economy. He calls for your execution. Okay. Um, uh, so we can either, we can either pay back the taxes to EU or we can just say, do you hear something? All right. We'll, we'll just, we won't pay back the taxes to the EU. Do you hear something? A loud crack fills the room as you, as finally your frantic family members and several bodyguards managed to break down the door to your bedroom. A few of your burly your relatives pin you down and take away your laptop please uncle bezos begs a doe-eyed child who is probably actually not your nibbling crumbly ghibli tears falling down their cheeks as you are tied to a chair you've left us with a mere 820 million five hundred forty thousand dollars mother says we'll be ever so destituate if you do not cease your wretched spending do jeff bezos's extended family speak like dickens characters they do here i was about to say this is definitely not how americans speak at least uh what do you say to the child well i can either sit them down and patiently explain why being a billionaire is immoral or show them twitter they'll end up just as socialists <laughs> And it'll take less effort on your end. I don't see how this is a horror game. This is an interesting game, but I don't see how this is a horror game yet. It is really well written. I, I'm going to set them down. With your arms tied behind your back. <laughs> with your arms tied behind your back, you're left gesturing with your head, asking the sniffling snot-nosed churub to take a seat on your knee. 
They do, and while your family and hired strongmen rifle through your belongings, trying to find a way to undo your recent financial transactions, you launch into your best, most heartful, age-appropriate lecture on ethics. It is light on theory and heavy on compa- comparisons, but you manage to get across that in a world su- of such wealth as ours. For a select few to hold on to the vast majority of that wealth, whether they earned it or not, while others starve is neglecting our moral duty to one another. The child listens quietly and frowns. Look, you finally say, just watch the good place. <laughs> well, that sure took a while to reach a pretty basic media recommendation. And unfortunately, in the meantime, you've earned $10 million, $10,428,660. Maybe it would have been better to leave the child rearing to social media eh, enough of this it's time to spend more of jeff bezos's money you flex your shiny biceps as hard as you can <laughs> the ropes binding you to the chair literally burst into so many shreds of hemp you stand using a leg of the chair to beat back several bodyguards and distraught adult heirs when you see a path open you take it fleeing into the city streets armed only with your ba- bathrobe, a phone, and a small laptop. After escaping onto the subway, you spare a quick glance at your bank balance and find it still too large for your tastes. What do I do? Do I fund 10 animal rescues for four years, build 10 new public libraries, finance 100 indie games, reboot Mythbusters? <laughs> Why am I rebooting Mythbusters? Pay off 1,000 graduate student loans, Fix the Flint water crisis. I'm going to fix the Flint water crisis. Wait. Myth. All right, fine. I was going to fix the Flint water crisis. But no, it's. A... You, you answered first. I will do whatever you want. Do you want me to reboot Mythbusters? I'll re. You know, I'll reboot Mythbusters just for you. Or we can save a bunch of people. <laughs> Oh, why can't we do both? I I feel like we can do both. All right, let's fix the water crisis and then we'll reboot. You completely renovate the deteriorated water system in Flint, Michigan, freeing its residents from the corporate serfdom to Nestle. This sets you back all of $55 million or less than the cost of a single SpaceX rocket. Oh my gosh. No, two... Oh. Wait, yeah, I did pick Flint. I was about to say, no, too late. It's Mythbusters. <laughs> Literally, this should have happened years ago already. You hold, look, we could do Mythbusters. You hole up in a dimly lit cafe where no one will question why Jeff Bezos is here in his bathroom working on a laptop. <laughs> to help ensure their silence, you pay the college educations of three baristas on duty, $303,000 approximately. You also tip well because labor should be adequately compensated regardless of whether a service worker goes the extra mile for you. <laughs> this game is amazing. <laughs> We're gonna reboot Mythbuster. <laughs> you're right, you're right. You're right. I, I'm 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 personally happy that we did the Flint Michigan one. That was the one that I was gonna go for. I'm happy that everyone agreed. <laughs> so let's reboot the Mythbusters. This isn't necessarily a good use of Jeff Bezos' money, but you really like the older seasons of Mythbusters that were basically jackass for nerds. The golden area of Adam Savage burning up his eyebrows and sticking his mouth onto vacuum motors. You reboot the series for a limited one season run with the original cast to air commercial free and subscription free on a bespoke online streaming service. The show tests all the myths that were originally vetoed because of corporate meddling, like RFIDs and credit cards and hunting ducks with pumpkins. <laughs> Anything left over from the $60 million budget will go toward reproducing that one time the Mythbusters blew up a cement truck with dynamite, now property properly captured on a high-speed camera. Science! We could still do more! <laughs> What else should we do? We can fund 10 animal rescues for four years. We can build 10 new public libraries. We can finance 100 indie games, or we can pay 1,000 graduate student loans. Either libraries or loans. Okay, I was going for the loans. That's what I was thinking. 
The average graduate student has $57,600 in, in loan debt. Your friends are anything but average, of course, but you also probably don't have a thousand of them. So $57.6 million should cover you either way, plus a few hundred strangers. You spend any leftover organizing a game studies conference, including covering transportation and hotel expenses for all speakers. Todd Harper does the opening keynote and Maddie Bryce oversees the wine tasting session. No speakers over the age of 45. Oh, we can do more. Okay, well, I had another one. So we're going to open 10 new public libraries. The cost of a new public library can vary, but $15 million gets you a relatively fancy one. So obviously $150 million gets you 10 fancy ones. Any remainder ought to go toward maintaining libraries since you built them all anyway. Oh, since you built them and all. Books are good. One of the baristas has given you away. It was an accident. They forgot they left location data on while tweeting on the Bezosul's Bay. Bez, Bezosul's Bay? Hashtag? Before you know it, you have an entire local police force at the cafe front door. You scan your list for something quick to spend some of Jeff Bezos' money on while the baristas arrange for your escape through the back. Uh-oh. Oh, Bezos is Bay. Oh, see, I told you I don't use Twitter. <laughs> All right, let's... How about we... Look, indie games are awesome. But on a real level, like, I want to fund 10 Animal Rescues. 10 Animal Rescues sounds really good. For $5 million a year each, these aren't your run-of-the-mill animal shelters. These are full-featured rescues focused on providing for abused former circus animals and exotic pets. You know those videos testing whether tigers will sit in boxes and get high off catnip? That's the kind of rescues you're funding. Okay, let the good times roll. You and your barista accomplices. <laughs> I love to think that Jeff Bezos is just running with baristas. You and your barista's accomplices race through the city's back streets, cannily avoiding police blockades and Amazon locker locations. Twice you were nearly cut down by weaponized delivery drones, but you managed to dive out of the firing range just in time. The drones record you as Kia. I, I almost said KIA. That's why I stuttered on that. As Kia in their online tracking system anyway, thus buying you a precious few minutes. Huddled behind a dumpster, you find a barista with the lip ring has sustained a deep cut into their arm. Oh no! You should clean us a hundred dollar bill to <laughs> dress the wound. Promise to pay the barista's hospital bill if it gets infected. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to pay the barista's hospital bill. There's no way. Yeah, we're, we're paying the barista's hospital bill. Sorry, that's just a no-brainer. Medical costs? No way. No way. Yeah, that's true. Money is dirty. We're not, we're not about that. Even if they are hundreds. You inform the barista that you will fully cover their medical expenses if that cut gets any worse. They give you a sour look and say nothing. It's clear they aren't impressed. What? What? Well, okay, let's try to reach the sewers. It's no use. Sewers actually aren't all that spacious. And also manhole covers are really heavy. The police catch up to you. Yeah, but let Jeff Bezos use his big muscles. The police catch up to you while you are swearing and nursing your stubbed toe. Oh man, son of a... Maybe you should have run out of your luxury apartment wearing something sturdier than slippers. You and your three barista allies are arrested on the spot. Oh. Two seconds. Two seconds. You and your college-aged accomplice are each charged with resisting arrest. The most fascist BS charge. Additionally, you are charged with one count of destabilizing capitalism, while the three baristas are charged with pirating anime. Mm. I mean I'm running out of money though I can pay for the bail I'm going to pay for everyone I'm going to pay for everyone we're going to pay for everyone look I still have 81 million you pay the cash bail for your three coffee making accomplices as well as the entire jail population of the city about 12,000 people the police, catching wise, 
put your own bail at an absolutely unheard of $81 million. $65,460. There's no way anyone would pay that. We got to demand to see the lawyer. There's no way. Move your camera on the on the screen down to the bottom. Oh, you can't see my money. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so that's all of my money. So I I think... I think we should just demand to see my lawyer. Yeah, we're we're going to see the lawyer. We're not just going to pay this. I'm Jeff Bezos. Because you are white and wealthy, the law works differently for you. You are granted a phone call to your lawyer. Unfortunately, you don't know the number to Jeff Bezos' lawyer or even who they are. You realize that if you're going to do anything with this one phone call, it should be something to try to get rid of as much of your remaining wealth as possible. What do you spend Jeff Bezos' money on? <laughs> Pay for your anime. <laughs> Put everything towards your local homeless shelter. I like that. National education system. Sorry, I'm doing that. I'm, I'm biased. You donate everything you have left to National Education Association, the largest teachers union in the United States. It isn't much, but teachers in this country are unfortunately used to accepting crumbs. While the money can't go directly towards hiring new teachers, you'll be bolstering the union and you trust they'll use the money responsibly. After finishing your phone call, you return quietly to your cell. If hashtag Be Bezos's Bay is still trending on Twitter, you're sure someone is raising money for your legal fees right now, but you absolutely refuse to use it. There is nothing more that you can do for now. Wait. You wait. There is little else to do. You sit around and contemplate your admittedly brief existence as Jeff Bezos, the unimaginable wealth you struggle to spend, the problems that lay outside even your ability to fix. Was it really worth anything at all? The rid of the world to rid the world of one man's billions? Was this really the best you could do? With this thought in your head, you lie down on your hard jail bunk and slowly you drift to sleep. When you <laughs> When you wake up this morning from unsettling dreams, you find yourself changed and in your bed into a monstrous vermin. You are Elon Musk. <laughs> I wanted to give a follow-up because I like to take some time to let things sit with me before I make a... Before I have any thoughts on it. So I, I felt like the game was... Did a very good job at bringing up issues in the system that we inhabit the game was an interesting take on a horror game it 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 was trying to bring light to the fact that people like jeff bezos who are billionaires actually exist and these problems actually exist and they can be solved uh if these people take the steps to fix it so it was kind it wasn't like a traditional horror game so if you were looking for that i apologize but i still think it was a really interesting take on it uh whatever your political views are whatever but i i liked it a lot i thought it was great i will link the game in the description down below I will also link the website that I've been using to come up with these indie games that I'm playing. The website is called, I have it right here, it's called Indie Game Website. They have a top 50. I'm gonna be playing through those games. I'm gonna to try to play through all of them. I'll definitely play through some at least. And you can look forward to more of these videos every Sunday for this indie game. And as I always say, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you liked about this. Tell me what you didn't like about it. How can I improve? Please subscribe if you like it. Come find me on Twitch. 
come talk to me while I'm going through these games. And as always say, it's coffee out going. Peace. Yeah.